Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Good evening. Welcome to this Roulette Rivals 7 console lower bracket round two match between Derek and Lewis. Uh, today we will be traveling to Hokkaido and Miami, and we won't be going to Bangkok or Mendoza. There's a band though, so we've got about two and a half minutes till the spin. Um, Derek got here after beating me in the winner's bracket, and then unfortunately lost to K. Kenny in a great match. Lewis lost to Speedster in his first match, so we now meet in the lower bracket. Um, lifetime performance. Derek has played two matches, unfortunately lost both of them on Hokkaido. Uh, Lewis has only played one and he's won it, so on paper has the upper hand, but we will, we will see. Map record stands at 345. Brutti, Roulette Rivals 3. Um, and yeah, we're just going to wait for the spin. Any... Um, any ideas of what we want in the spin? I always like a Yuki falling object. Um, Sodas is kind of as he is. Nothing, nothing's particularly difficult for Sodas, unfortunately. Um, robot arms, maybe? Robot arms can be good. Yeah, any, any prediction, predictions for the spin? Anybody? Um, I believe both these guys are on Xbox One, so loading times should be pretty similar, um, which could could pay out in a if it comes down to a photo finish. But we'll see. Um, this is a first of four, so you get two points for winning a map, no points for losing a map. And in the event that a match goes to a map goes to 47 minutes, it will be a tie. Or in the unlikely event of a photo finish being within two seconds of each other. Each other we will also go to a tie hopefully we won't see any ties today but um yeah we will see 50 seconds till the spin so we will to that when we get there any predictions for what we want to see at all say I'm partial to a falling object uh, let me know how all the sounds are by the way I do have audio on the spin is going to be here all right, about now. So we have Eric Sodas and will be taken out using the robot arms as the motorcyclist. And Yuki Yamazaki will be taken out with a fall in the suit. Interesting spin. So obviously you don't actually have to start suit on Hokkaido. It's one of the rare maps that 
does have a suit on the map in 47 Suite. I imagine we'll see a suit start from both anyway, probably in the restaurant for an early uh, gondola ISO, and Lewis has done exactly that. With his gold brick in hand, just kind of the new strat, get all four of the bodyguards with the gold brick, and Yuki can just be taken out. And while Derek started in the suite, which means he has a little bit less time to get Yuki. Yeah, and Derek's already... Okay, so Derek's going for the more standard ISO around the side. Lewis, again, going for his snail. So he's, what he's going to do is drop the snail, bump the two guards. Hmm. Or bump Yuki. That will get all four huh? guards, and we should see Yuki down very imminently and probably out. <laughs> Derek, yep, Derek's just about to drop her, and Derek has kill number one down. And Lewis follows him. So now we just have the robot arms for Sodas. Target down. For those who don't know how to now do the robot arms, you have to get into the Kai mainframe. So getting the motorcyclist in there is going to be very interesting, and I'm intrigued to see how they both do it. Obviously, the motorcyclist is in the morgue. And Derek gets a real big whoosh, but manages to get away from it. Pesky director, who is... Uh, Always enforcing. Okay, both taking different approaches here. It's nice to see. Lewis is going... Lewis has stayed in his suit, chose not to change to a bodyguard, which would have made this a tiny bit easier, but he's got through anyway. Go straight for the motorcyclist. It's me! Are the final details in place? Eric taking a slightly longer route. He will imminently be getting the motorcyclist as well. Oh, that goes without saying. I do still. Yeah, just watches the, the dodgy head turn on the uh, morgue doctor there. Lewis has got to count the dodgy head turn of this guy. Just waiting out. Now, synchronized KOs, we are on dual time here. Let's see how they approach this now. That's for another time. We'll talk again. So, both picking up a Oh, Derek's got Calma. Lewis is going through. Love to see a first try. Yeah, first try would be, I mean, not for you, because you, then you got to do a photo finish. But obviously, yeah, first first try. And I'd love to see him get all four of these boxes first try as well. Just for the highlight reel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, no, wait. Oh, nearly from Lewis. Derek is going in a slightly different way. KO'd both these guys. Unfortunately, he's going to have a forcer there. He's to, I, oh, no, he's secret, sorry. Not. Oh, Derek. Lots and lots of wishes. Meanwhile, Lewis has hit the computer and the sodas is down, so he's now be looking for an exit. Derek, unfortunately, is just struggling to work his way around. That's a good throw there. I think Lewis is probably going to take this one, unfortunately, for Derek. But we'll see how quickly. If Derek can get all four of these, no. Oh no, does Derek know that he has to take out all four of those? Lewis is exiting right now. Unfortunately, Derek has probably delayed a little bit too much now. I think that will be too near towards.
Derek's going to struggle to get this done in the next 30 or so seconds. And there's confirmation. So Lewis goes 2 0 up, takes Derek's map. So we will now be going to Miami. A personal favourite map of mine. And uh, let's go and have a look why we're there. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally broke at the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, so as the briefing suggests, we are off to the lovely Miami Bayside Center. Our lifetime performance on this map. Derek has played one and tied one, which is interesting. Uh, Lewis has played seven. He has won four, lost two, and tied one. Performance against each other. They've never played each other in competitive. Map record currently held by Yanini at 523. I think that's going to be a tough one to beat, in all honesty. Um, you're going to need a very good spin to do that. Um, so Derek needs to win this one in order to tie it back up and take it to another map. Again, we won't be seeing Bangkok or Mendoza definitely today. Um, what are we hoping for? What are we hoping for in the spin? So Miami, a personal favorite of mine. I always like consumed poison. It's always an interesting one, timing wise. Um, Sierra Fall is a good one. Yeah, what are we, what are we hoping for? So we have a prediction up thank you <laughs> thank you very much forgot about that go spend those doubloons lewis asked for the consume timing an hour ago <laughs> so he'll be well prepared then if that comes up derek is just causing some mayhem as you always do yeah you can predict predict with those doubloons if you have them we've got about 40 minutes till the spin Again, Lewis, probably the favourite on paper, but don't write Derek off just yet. I'm excited to see what we get on this spin. So, didn't see if Lewis preloaded. Derek definitely did. Spin coming up just about now. We have Sierra Knox with an explosive weapon as the event security and Robert Knox falling object as the Kawoon mechanic. Love it. Falling object for Bobby is always an interesting one. As we would say, throws the cat amongst the pigeons. 
could be done a couple of ways. Um, you've either got the shark strat or the coconut strat. It'll be interesting to see who goes with what here. The shark strat is arguably more difficult. Like not obviously, for anyone who doesn't know, the explosive weapon can't be done on the car. Our competitors hopefully know this. The explosive weapon the only has to be done outside of the car, um, despite being able to put an explosive on the car. Um, sniper rifle is the only thing that Sarah that's allowed in the car. We've got two different starts, but both looking as if they're going to go for the sugar strat. Lewis has started waiter, picked up his sugar. Eric has started food vendor and picked up his sugar. So I think we're going to get some early ISOs here. They're just going to leave Sierra. Although Lewis has already got the disguise from outside the door, which is a great disguise grab to get. Pretty much neck and neck on time. Eric's hey, got his stab mechanic in the wrong place, but he should hopefully be coming over. Nope, he's walked off. Whereas Lewis has boxed his and is about to get the lovely unskippable cutscene. You, you're the junior slip friend who got injured yesterday, right? Mm. Yeah, and I'm saying dongle strat saves about a minute. Everyone's a bit torn on which strat to go for. Um, I personally religiously use the sugar strat, I know I religiously use the dongle strat. Um, I think each have their pros and cons, but mostly just comes down to personal preference, really, which one you're more comfortable with. So Derek has managed to lure the security guard in here. I missed how he did that. He's managed to get a security guard and a Kronstadt mechanic at the same time. This is interesting. <laughs> Lewis doing the peekaboo. That's a great bit of optimization potentially from Derek. Quite like that. <laughs> you have to go back and watch how he did that. <laughs> that was, yeah, a great little bit of improv. Meanwhile, Lewis has Sierra down. He's going to give her a nice little pillow. Of explosive weapon can be quiet. So I imagine they've both got a breacher in their loadout. And Sierra is down for Lewis. Derek a little bit behind now could catch up with the falling object. This is where the this is where the spin really make make or break. Um, Say what? Both of them here. Probably gonna go for the free Kawoon disguise. Yeah, he's indeed. No need to KO anyone when you've got that in the pit box there. Interestingly changing into the food vendor rather than the security. The security is an illegal disguise in the pits. Maybe doesn't know that. Meanwhile, Lewis is making his way across the map. Couple of ways to get into the Kronstadt building. Eric giving Sierra a little pillow. <laughs> Getting confused by his disguises. He's got the right one though. And Sierra is gone. And he's gonna need to uh he's gonna need to get a little bit of a move on if he wants to catch up with Lewis here. Okay, so I've seen you toss the hammer for the guard and the crowbar for the mechanic, so a double, a double chamber. <laughs> Ooh, oh, and I missed. Did Derek just run into an enforcer? I apologise, I missed that. But Derek's had to restart, so that's going to put him on the back foot now. But again, this falling object can be make or break. Robert. 
downstairs think it okay. looks like upstairs. Lewis is going for not so much. Any idea what he's doing in there? I heard he's the shark strap, definitely. Ah, uh, Derek was caught trespassing. Hopefully he will not make that mistake again. He is on his way back to the garage to do the sugar strat again. I think some of the team are using it to increase car speed. Heard a few crosscut mechanics talking about it the other day. Meanwhile, Lewis not sure why he's to the pits, maybe going for a stash. Has got the, he's got the free Kronstadt engineer disguise. Okay, just looking for some melee weapons potentially. Fatigue, head turn from that guy. Recipe, ah, yes, of course, of course, he's picked up the screwdriver to sabotage the car. That's how long it's been since I've done this strat. <laughs> of course, now there is actually one in the room next to him. Well, but you don't. Screwdrivers are one of the final bosses of Roulette, I think. If you, if you know where all the screwdrivers are, then uh, you, you can be a god at Roulette, I feel. Okay, Derek looking like he's... Well, no, sorry, Lewis looking like he's going to take out the tank. Possibly to get both of these guys KO'd, so this will pacify both of them at the same time. So, rip though. Eric has got Sierra down again. Not going to get around, but those cameras might actually be a bit trickier on this one because they're not going up to the helipad, I would assume. So, Eric might have to detour for those cameras, unfortunately. Lewis, Lewis is going to struggle to get these two on that particular case. He's losing a lot of time here. Getting a whoosh, and Bobby's on his way down. So he's now probably going to wait until he starts coming back. Nope, panics, and that's going to be a restart, unfortunately. He panicked, the guard turned around, saw him. So that puts Derek just on the front foot again. Yes, of course, of course there is actually a screwdriver right next to uh, pretty much where Derek is now. Come in handy. So Derek's placed the bomb. Okay, he's got his security down on the stairs this time and that's Sierra down while Lewis is going through the motions here again getting the security guard he's gonna go do the sugar strap as well Eric has red guns I think he just ripped to one of those coming at one of the uh the random security guards coming out of the uh coming out of the garages they are always always have to have the instinct hammered on when you come out of the garages around here for those two or three guards that enforce pretty much everyone even the drivers so we are back on more even footing again lewis just paused oh okay no he's back He's got a body found, but that's not going to matter because he's Kalmud, is he not? Lewis possibly just trying to remember. Yep, he's fine. <laughs> you, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Sierra's coming in. Okay, Everyone so on Derek now. has caught a pretty quick. 
He's gonna go do the sugar strike now as well. Synchronized, unskippable cutscene. So we should, yeah, go through some more security, he's going to go through the motions here again. Eric, both, both got the peekaboo almost synchronised now, although Eric doesn't have his disguise just yet. This. Blows her up. Boxes are just in case. No harm in doing that. He is going to be off back to the aquarium, we assume. his disguise doesn't have a calmer he's gonna need to hide that body may need to be quick because a couple of the mechanics will come down into the pit and into, the, uh, into the pit changing rooms there he's gonna find that what? while Lewis has his how we mechanic skies will be back off to the aquarium. Derek just a little bit behind here. Choosing not to go for a free balloon skies. I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Not. For where Derek is. Okay, choosing just to box that guy just in case. That one I can understand. I've been ripped by that guy being found before, somehow. Okay, Lewis has gone for a different screwdriver, which is en route this time. Well, Derek, this time with instinct, absolutely hammered on. Yeah, the buffer ain't got the back. Is just slowly walking through, and I think he is going to go down. He's going to go down to get the free disguise as well. While Lewis getting the, so he's getting the free Kronstadt engineer disguise again. And he's going to go and try to set up this, uh, this remote kill. Well, not remote, but set up the kill for Robert. Just pausing again. Hope his stream hasn't crashed. Still got sound, so I'm assuming not. That's taking a second. Hey, Lewis losing a lot of time here. Maybe just trying to confirm to himself how this is fully done it, it is a tricky this is much trickier in my opinion than the coconuts um but it will always be quicker than the coconuts both are perfectly viable strats though he's, he wants to get that shot on the tank and he's oh what was that how did he get spotted there that's criminal Really, really unfortunate rip there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of speechless on that. I don't understand how the guard could have even had that possible view code. Really, really unfortunate one, and that's putting back to square one again, which gives Derek a massive lead now. Five minutes, nearly six minutes in-game time lead. 
but Derek hasn't started any sort of lure to a falling object yet, so could potentially get Robert on his second cycle with the coconuts, which I believe is around seven minutes, but I feel like he's possibly going for shark lure as well. We'll try and peekaboo Robert, who's just missed him. I'm not 100% sure what Derek is going for here. He's in the Kronstad building. I'm going to get a security disguise just so we can freely roam. We might wait until Robert goes over to those stairs and try to drag him all the way down into the uh, aquarium, which would be long-winded but effective. Like he's just... Junior slipper and you got trying to work out how this one works. Sierra's coming in. Everyone on your stations now. The gentleman is an enforcer. <laughs> Lewis is back with the sugar strat again, so he's again just going through the motions. The Sierra kill is kind of easy in, in, in most respects. I'm not gonna really run into many problems with the Sierra kill, so that's kind of just going through the motions there and kind of Miami 101 with Sierra. Yeah, and for nothing on yeah, as far as I'm aware, the only two options are coconuts or car. Um I'd say both are viable strats, but Derek is looking a little lost. I'm wondering if he doesn't know how to do a falling object, which is understandable if you haven't practiced it. It's not not an easy one to just work out. If you don't know that he locks down under the shark, then yeah, you, you, you might be roaming for a little while trying to find out what you're looking for. You can see him looking around Target for a falling down. object. Next up, Robert Knox. Unfortunately, I think he might be trying to improv this a little. The Hamas room. Not going to find anything in there, unfortunately. Okay, so Derek's getting towards the right lines now. Still just looking up as he walks around. <laughs> I think. There we go, he has spied the shark, so hopefully he can now put a plan together. Would the fish trophy count as falling object? I'm not actually sure. Infofun might have to confirm that if he knows. I'm not entirely sure. I was in contracts it classes any method, but I don't know if in roulette it classes as a falling object, actually. That's an interesting question, Joker. I'm not entirely sure. That is, I mean, that's a very long-winded, but also potentially viable strat if it is. So I think Derek is looking for a screwdriver now, so I think he's got an idea of what he wants to do now. Sadly, any method makes it unviable. Okay, yeah. So unfortunately, that will not be a way to get him. Style points if you do it, but unfortunately you will have to restart. Fortunately, he is looking a little lost here. Don't know whether he's got a plan in place now and is looking for a screwdriver. I'm not 100% sure. Going back out up to the laptop. Meanwhile, Lewis has paused again. He just kind of composing himself a little. Potentially checking hit maps, but I think he knows where everything he needs is. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Okay, so Derek appears to be looking around again. He's 
lured Bobby to... Don't know what his plan is. Oh no, he hasn't. Oh, sorry, I lie, he hasn't. Please don't hit that guy there. <laughs> IP, he will delegate. The fact is that Kronstadt is very likely your whole system will be So Lewis in some ways back on level pegging. He's he's got his Kronstadt engineer disguise, he's possibly got his screwdriver in hand as well. We're going to get one. So although there's a massive in-game time difference, they're pretty much back to the same position in the actual spin now. Bobby will now be on his way down for Lewis. He will be sprinting down that corridor to see what's happened to his precious car. Derek is taking out another guard. I think he's going to try and lure Bobby into this room, but I'm not sure what his plan is from here, unfortunately. Let's hope he's got something up his sleeve. I think we all know Derek is great at improv. Proven many times that he can improv his way out of a situation. I'm just looking at all the ceilings. While Lewis appears to just be waiting for Bobby. So normally what you would see is as he comes running down the stairs, you will see a distraction shot to, to stop him in his path. And then he will get KO'd in order to... Uh, there's two ways to do it. You can either you can either fully lock him down, which I think is what Lewis is going for, which can make things tricky because he will take a lot of guards with him. Or you can simply grab him on the stairs on the way down. You've missed that opportunity. I think he's going to go for a full lockdown. Again, that is going to make things slightly trickier. Hopefully he has a plan here. Falling object. Oh, he's big worse, but he gets away with it. Falling object is one of those ones that will catch people out in Miami. Not finding the position he needs to lock him down. He needs to shoot through the uh, he needs to shoot onto the floor, unfortunately. Forget it. Step aside. I'm handling this myself. I don't know why I haven't took this out. Hey, those guys have gone, so now is the chance to do it. What? There we go. He's going to lock Bob, so we've got target locked down, so Bobby is going to run. Well, they're in the... There are two places he can run. He can run under the shark, or he could run to the security room if Lewis is really unlucky. Looks like he's got the lucky one. He's going for the shark. What is that stuff, anyway? He is indeed. Another guard will stand under the shark with him, so it's not as easy as just shooting the shark. So Derek's still improving. He's got Bobby out onto this platform here. He might be looking at a long, long drag down into the uh, out of the shark. Yeah, and unfortunately, Lewis got an NTK there, which is, as I say, a guard stands under there with him. That's unfortunate. He's going to have to restart there. You will, if you don't take out that guard, you will get a guard stand under the, uh, stand under the shark with him, unfortunately. So 22 minutes left on the spin. Derek is currently 15 minutes deep on his, on his spin. He's taken the A, he's taken Bobby out, now he's trying to work out where he can bring him. So I don't know if there's a way to the shark from here. Um, 
If there is, it's going to be a lot of dragging. It's what I would consider the only little hole in my Miami knowledge is uh, is the ways in and out of the Kronstadt building. If it isn't a pipe, don't know how to do it, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, so Lewis got a long way to catch up now, but again, Derek just trying to work out what to do. He's obviously seen the shark, so I wonder if he's trying to work out his route down there now, hopefully. This would be... This would be it. This would get you down to the shark. looking at a 20 plus minute spin here which oh he beat me on haven with a 22 minute spin so he's not adverse to a to a long spin with a lot of improv so we like to see some improv yeah he's taking these guys out i think he, he has a plan in place now and put it in motion all the while lewis catch up Dragon Root's fine after the stairs, getting through the robot area. Yeah, that's going to be his biggest. The, the getting it out and to the top of the stairs is going to be his biggest trouble here. There's a lot of wandering eyes in this area. Um, he's got to get him through the back of this area, which he has a potential rip there. There's a potential for the guy who's... Can the guy... The potential for the guy here to see him if he's in the wrong position? gonna go for the safe route i think he's gonna just try and take everybody out which at this point is this deep into a spin is not the worst of ideas <laughs> just wants to be Target extra down. extra safe Next up, Robert Knox. lewis has got sierra down he has somehow got her stuck on those tires. That won't be a problem, but <laughs> that's an interesting, interesting place for him to get stuck there. We got a raid from GK Punk, which must mean your match is over. How did that go? Uh, Hope it was a good one. We are currently. About 29 minutes deep into a Miami spin here. We've got Falling Object, which at the moment is uh, is foiling both of our testers here. Lewis won the first, the first round on Hokkaido. Which was Derek's pick. Derek currently has Bobby down. He's trying to get him over to the shark and he's just, he's just trying to work out how to do it. A lot of improv going on here, whereas Lewis has his route, but just can't quite put it together yet. Both going for the shark strap. Fortunately, Lewis did get him all the way under to the shark, but then got an NTK when he dropped the shark on him. Had to restart. Yeah, Derek 20 minutes deep into his run. Uh, is everyone? Yeah, you can. You can. So you can. Yeah, you can tamper with the car and get him under the shark, or you can get him with the coconuts using the um, Florida man lure. But Derek, uh, Derek, uh, Derek spent quite a long time looking around for a falling object. Finally, realised the shark was there. So we think that's probably what he's going for. But yeah, there is going to be a lot of dragging. Say, so Derek, we, we've learned from the last two tournaments, Derek is a bit of a master of improv. Even if it takes a little bit of time. He is he is a master of the improv. I'm interested to see. He has knocked out pretty much half of the top floor of the Kronstadt building here, so. <laughs> There's a lot, he has a lot of bodies lying around. He has red guns from Bobby. I think he should have a pretty clear route now. 
Just a lot of dragging. We'll be super careful. He's going to look everywhere. I'm here now. I think, I don't think there's anyone else who can rip him here. Unless he gets a dodgy head turn. I think he should be safe here. So also he's got a lot of dragging to do. Meanwhile, Lewis appears to be doing something a bit different here. Going for a food vendor. Is he maybe going to try the coconut strat this time? So Derek looking to tie this up at 2-2. He's still got a bit of a drag, but he's carried the two guards in here. No way. I'm going to place him under this shark. I hope he's going to remember to change his outfit. <laughs> he had a quick look, but yes, he's going to remember. 21 minutes into a run, I wouldn't begrudge him if he forgot, but I would be crying for him. This, this deep into a run, your, your brain gets a little frazzled. So Lewis is going for the Florida Man strat, so he's going to go for coconuts this time. He's he's decided he's had enough of enough of trying to get the shark strat. He's going to go for Florida Man. Whether he's going to try and get him with the falling sign or with the coconuts will be yet to be seen. Infun has confirmed already that the the falling shark doesn't work as a as a falling object. Unfortunately, it is classed as any method, despite how cool it looks. Eric just taking it steady, taking the long route all the way around. Instinct hammered on. He is not. He is making sure that he is in the safest way possible here. Please don't use a loud weapon. <laughs> For who's going to them? Everyone, everyone. Everyone in the map pretty much is KO'd now, so just checking his positioning. He's making double, triple sure that this is going to work. Green guns, and he is on his way out. Keep that instinct hammered on, even though you know your way out. Always keep the instinct hammered on. Meanwhile, Lewis. Lewis is definitely going for the coconut strap, but he's got a long wait before Bobby comes out now. I think, barring some crazy, crazy rip here, Derek is going to draw, tie this up at 2 2 with a 24 minute Miami spin. Only 13 minutes left on the clock. Some brilliant improv, though. He didn't know what to do for the falling object going in, and he's improved his way through it. GG's Derek. Great to watch. Two all. So we are going to a, Have a nice random day. third map. Flexing with his number two on the leaderboards there. That was that was crazy. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Not, not, not often you see that level of improv. Lewis, yeah, Lewis just going through it again. He, he's, he's decided he wanted to change strats, but it's just too little too late. We are going to Paris. Back to season one we go. So let's find out why we are going to Paris. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguin, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguin owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. 
unscrupulous and opportunistic. Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis, beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Okay, so we are going all the way back to the first map of the trilogy. Map record 355 for Danny Buta from uh, RWC 2021, the, the last tournament we had. Lifetime performance for both is zero. Neither of these players have been here in um, in competitive. Uh, predictions are up. Thank you, Anna, for setting those up. Uh, predictions, predictions are up, so get your predictions in. This, this is going to be interesting. Nothing to go off here. Um, yeah, this is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, do I want to co? Yeah, sure. I'll just jump into a Discord channel. Uh, I'll just jump into the Shoutcasters and set it up in my OBS. Yeah, yeah. Please feel free to jump in. Let me just get this set up. What are we hoping to see here? Hey, uh, buddy, what are we hoping uh, to see from a Paris? Novikov asked to fetch it for her. Wants to trigger the button. You there for 20? Hey, there you go. Yep. <laughs> Two seconds. I'm just getting you into the... Into my Discord. There we go. Right, we should now be... Can everyone hear for 20 now? I hope. I hope I've done this right. <laughs> Vampire Magician, yeah, Vampire Magician is always good. Just send four. No? Ah, what have I done wrong then? Um, let me just send you the spin link a second. Okay, so what what have I done wrong here? I'm assuming you can still guys can still hear me. Uh, Discord audio is... Hmm. This is helpful. We are in Shoutcasters. We're in Shoutcasters 1. Okay, spin is going to be here imminently. I will quickly read out the spin and then I will try to get 420 into the, uh... Our spin, we have Victor Novikov, Fiberwire, as a Cicada bodyguard, and we have Dalia Margolis, SMG, as Helmut Kruger. A okay, 420, let me see why I'm not hearing you. Okay, is that working? I'm not even coming through on the top of the screen to say that I'm in this channel. Okay. Okay, how are we looking? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why you're not coming through, so I apologize. Everything's... 
everything's set up correctly. So, both guys are in, trying to keep up with everything as I'm going. <laughs> Something's something's gone very wrong with the Discord audio here. I do apologise, guys. I was hoping to get full 20 in it, but it's just not working. I'm going to have to have a chat with the Discord expert once we're done here. So, looks like both of them have set up the fireworks. So Victor is on his way for Lewis. Derek is drafted. You're trying to get him back. So rip for Lewis, unfortunately. Trigger the fireworks himself. How are we looking now? Nope, still no audio. Oh, wait, I think we might have audio. Do you want to try again now? Yeah. There we go. I think we might have you. Yeah, you just suddenly came through for me. There we go. You're a bit muffled. I can hear. Is, is, is the sound okay? Testing one, two, one, two. How's this sound? There we go. We've got you. OBS rookie here. That's my problem. <laughs> Oh, unlucky rip for Derek. He just got the fiber wire as the uh, that roaming security guard opened the door. So let's catch back up to where we are. So Lewis, you could be rep okay. Got Novikov on his way. He's gonna try and get a bodyguard in here, and I think he's gonna try and get him as soon as he gets out that front door. Interesting plot twist that Victor used to have a bodyguard until they pulled that. Detonator. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. He's he's got a personal bodyguard, but obviously, yeah, as soon as you pull that, he, he just wanders off, doesn't he? <laughs> or he never he never makes it back up the stairs. So sure, it'd have been interesting to see somebody um, just catch him out the back while he's actually looking at the fireworks and take. Uh, yeah, I think that's what Lewis is going for. But looks at it, Lewis is frantically chasing him down the stairs. I think he is going to try to catch him. I have a little concern for Lewis oh. about his um Who did oh, wow. he get ripped? Oh that's a wall Never. Hack. What a wall hack, that's horrible. There, there, there is a window there, there is a window. Be, let's be fair. Okay. In one. <laughs> that like was very a wall hack then. That was like harsh because he should have been looking oh, up yeah. in the sky and yeah. the fireworks well, through the roof. Point your gun at Novakov. Novakov asked oh. Um, oh, risky from Derek, but he's got him. Nicely done. He does have camera troubles though, that could slow him down. Oh, this could slow him down. Oh, even more. Yeah. Somebody just walked. Oh. Um. God must have heard him scream. Both of them having a few little hiccups here on Victor. Lewis looks like he's going to stick with that strap. I think it's a viable strap, he's just going to be a little bit more careful with that. Uh, with that fiber wire. Where's uh, Victor running to for Lewis then? You see that? Is he not just going... He's just... Oh, he's gone red anyway. Oh, he's replanned. <laughs> the uh, auction staff saw him knock him out, I think. So Derek has decided not to lure that guy in. He has hey, bought uh, Victor. Buddy, uh into this area, but he's going to struggle to keep him here. That's some nice control might... shots there from Derek. Yeah, he might be able to just... He might be able to catch him as he's walking back out, just as he goes past that box, if he's lucky. But he could always get him by the toilets, so there's quite a few viable places here where you can get him. It is an enforcer, though, so he doesn't want to bring him back too far. Surprised he didn't dip into that room in front of him there. But he can, of course, go the back way around, get behind him. Yeah, I think he's going to just wait for him. He's going to just... Derek's been playing it quite slow, so I think he's just going to wait for him to turn around. I know he's going to try and lure him in here. The concern with that is you've also got the parole and, uh, patrolling cars that will be yeah, there. Yeah. Not too long away. Lewis is going to 
this is just got caught trying to get this disguise. He does have guards on the opposite side of her. Like nope, he's got where that. Oh no, sorry, he's not where he's I thought. Was. <laughs> and he's gonna grab. You know, struggle to get this victor though, because this victor yeah. is gonna panic. There's a lot. Of, yeah, and there's. That was a. Yeah, brave. It's unfortunately getting ripped again. It's like yeah, the, uh, the pressure of a fast spin, isn't it? When you know it's a fast spin, you play it like a fast spin. Yeah, and, and, and it's not a fast spin anymore. Yeah. On paper, Victor seems incredibly easy, but obviously as soon as you pull him away from the bottom, you're then juggling him and a bodyguard at the same time to try and work out who you're I mean, getting. Honestly, the hundred percent these guys should just be taking a, a bodyguard from the, the corridor out the back there. Um and then getting him in the bathroom. Yeah. I think that, yeah, that would be the place you've got plenty of time just to tranquilize Lewis, one of those uh, bodyguards. Caught firing that gun. Oh, rip. Guys on the lot. balcony yeah, there, is, there is a, a... Oh, no. Both of them. Ooh, we've got a really struggle bus of it, Lewis, yeah. who's, uh, yeah, definitely on the struggle bus. He said, yeah. you know what? Fresh start, which is... Yeah, is I'm wondering whether great. Attic or um, Attic and Seeker could be a viable strat. I've never quite understood what the difference is of how his bodyguard follows him when you see to him. I don't know whether there's some rhyme or reason as to why his bodyguard follows him half the time and not the rest of the time. You've but... just got to stop him getting on the stairs. Once he starts walking onto the stairs... Um, right, well, okay. with fireworks remote, it's as soon as like he passes through that door, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah if you can get him turn back this way, really, you're good. So... Sure, um, okay. but if he sort of connects with him, he's stuck with him then. It's the same with the Seeker. Right, if you're okay. slow with your Seeker shot, he'll he'll take a couple of steps too far down the stairs and now bodyguards yeah. attached. And that, of course, can be an advantage. It's not yeah, always a this, bad thing in, to happen. For this specific spin, you actually kind of want him to follow him. <laughs> and then you could literally get him straight in the toilet. But Lewis is going for the Seeker strat now, so he's decided this is the best way to go. I mean, a couple of viable strats here. You, you, there's no reason. You, obviously, Lovely if you start in the attic, there. you can also go for Dahlia first, can't you? And Victor won't move until you get down onto that first floor. So. Sure, I'll tell you, I was taking a few goes, but uh, Derek just got a wonderful live kill in 53 seconds on Victor Novikov nice. there. Ken has camera yeah. troubles, so he's going to have to go deal with the cameras, which is going to be a little bit out of the way, but... Every, he hasn't even looked at taking the cameras out, so I think he's just um, he's just living with the fact that he's going to have to take out the cameras, I think, on his run. We've got a quick closet check here from Lewis. Yes. Uh, so, he has, so he's got... Oh, oh no. what was that? A little, little bit too early, I think. Wasn't settled yet, but that was some weird movement from Kurt, wasn't it? I love, there's something about the NPCs on this game when they decide to do some sort of strange 360 to get where they're going. <laughs> Just bizarre. Something you've uh, you've really got to watch out for, and you'll see that from especially from the experienced players where they're uh, they know when to hesitate. Yeah. You know, they know they know when it, it usually when it's, it's likely that an NPC is going to do some. They're not settled yet. There's some telltale signs, isn't there, when they are settled? Yeah. And I think, like you say, they both know that this is a quick spin. And so they're almost rushing it a little. Whereas if one of them just takes it a little bit slower, they could they could win it with a slightly slower run. But they both seem like they're just trying to go a little bit too fast almost. So Lewis um, looking to start working on Helmut, but looks like he's... He's he got karma fireworks. Or something. He's used up his fireworks, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, of course he has, yeah. In yeah, fact, worth noting, I don't, I don't know if this is going to come into play, but I'll bring it up now anyway. I know, right, because Lewis has changed his strat now. Uh, so Lewis was actually pushing his luck. I think he was going to get tempted in, in uh, try and helmet just as the fireworks run out. But yeah, before that point. Yeah, you've got, you've got to be pretty quick, unfortunately, haven't you? With, um, and, and if you miss helmet with the fireworks, you, you've got a long way. <laughs> Especially in a legal disguise you can peek a room behind the planters if you're in a, a legal disguise but he doesn't he does not, not care about the sheik at all <laughs> he doesn't care for that crowbar does he he's probably derek's probably gonna have to wait until he gets all the way over and gets on the phone is that other guard coming for the crowbar is that why he's ignoring it yeah it could
could be. Yeah, he might need to use a different throwing weapon now. I need to. Um, yeah, he needs to use a different throwing weapon here to to trigger him. Well, not really. I mean, he's walking exactly where he wants him to go. Well, really, true. Yeah, he's, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's got to the point where it doesn't matter now, hasn't he? <laughs> but surely he wasn't going to cut like just whack him out by that planter there. No, if he just takes no, this put the guard in the box and then he's free. Or not. For him to go back the other way, I think. Derek has been very patient so far. Sure. Not one for a rash decision, I must admit. No, I mean, well, he, he just completed about 20, I think it was about 24 minute Miami. So. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, Definitely Lewis not in a rush. Getting, um, Lewis just got the victor kill. There we go. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Derek does have a karma, but he didn't have it on him. That was the issue. Okay, there. he had it in the shed. So there goes both of those uh, NPCs. That gives him access to his second disguise. He's got the SMG in his inventory, and he's got a free disguise. Could even use the helmet lure with the phone, which I think he's going to do. Hmm. Playing it really safe, going for the mission story, get her in the office. Well, Lewis, I mean, why so not at this stage, I guess? Think to dad, and look at that, like, despite being so, so careful, he still managed to get caught on the no, camera. Yeah, now has exactly the same issue. Both camera control. troubles now, yeah. He just lost quite a considerable number of seconds there, um, dancing about that first camera. So let's Derek is not sure if he can go up. Coast. Derek has pretty much free roam of the entire building now, his helmet. Sure, is he looking to do the cameras first? He must be, right? Yeah, he might. Yeah, I think he helicopter might. Exit. Wait, no, he's got to do the... Oh, mate, he's going to go and walk the catwalk. <laughs> he's giving this away right now. Oh, no. He is doing that, but, but at the same time, Lewis well, is also yeah. trying to get helmet without the uh, yeah, you're right. So, it, um, might, might even itself out. I mean, if Lewis goes down the same route, Eric but, is utterly mad. We are going to get <laughs> into a little bit of a <laughs> fashion show. <laughs> Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. This doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I agree with chat. Derek is built different. He uh, <laughs> he has no fear to go for a mission story at 2-2. Two -two. Mate, I was watching Derek's spin. early matches. <laughs> he, he was a fantastic player to watch. Um, it's a great really improv. Skilled. He just he just he pulled some improv out of nowhere, which he did on my did on Miami as well. Sure. Now as a returning rival, looking uh, very strong, very very good. You've got to be confident that they can play like this, and yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about. Well, again, I mean, he's he's definitely. I mean, he, again, he beat me uh, on Haven in twenty two minute spin, so he's he's definitely not one to rush. Right and it's paid off for him more than once. So. And Lewis so now Lewis. Uh, faced with Lewis the same just, decision like from Derek yeah. had just a minute ago. Yeah, does that sound good? Does have the Wait. He does have the fireworks. Oh, remote. Is he is he gonna try and get Dahlia? He's waiting to get Dahlia on the balcony with the fireworks. I'm gonna he, guess he can't have a sedative then. Dahlia, I think he had a seeker, but I don't think he's got a calmer, so he's probably just gonna wait for this security guy to walk away. And he should be able to just be going uh, behind the fence. He's never gonna go for a long ranger, is he? Oh is he oh, oh yeah, he could be trying to do it on exit. Yeah, popper on exit just I mean, that would, this could be close if that's the case, because Derek has got her down into the bathroom. I see there. Just about you? to put a bullet no. in her head. They... Well, could I ask Although he's going to have, obviously alone? Lewis has Thanks. got to still get cameras. So does Derek. So popping her on exit isn't going to work. Unless he's going to go all the way down for cameras first. Good point. I, yeah, I mean, it's a viable lead, strat. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see it with console, eh? <laughs> <laughs> SMG headshot snipe. The win. Derek is on his way out, but he is on again. Both need to get the uh, both need to get the cameras, and I hope they remember they've got to get the cameras. I like the things. I mean, you can see Derek clearly looking at yeah, that base when they there. He knows where he's going. Um, yeah, Paris cameras are too, too difficult. It's just, just the inconvenience, isn't it? Now he's going yeah. to the toilet. He's a quick pee before he. Just one of these roulette brain type things as well, though, isn't it? Sometimes you just, sometimes it just slips your mind. I'm sure he would have remembered before he got out anyway, but it, it, yeah, 
things like little things like that can slip your mind occasionally. Who's gonna see Kadalia? Now she won't move until the fireworks are done. Or she just won't acknowledge the secret shot. I don't believe. Well, why is that now? Why are we not just like, yeah, yeah, he, all he's gotta do is KO that guard and she doesn't have a hammer and down for the count. I mean, he could, he could subdue her and then get the guard and still be fine there, but he's probably lost the opportunity now. So Derek pops the oh, cameras. Oh. Is he going to be able to get it? Yay. Derek is out. We're still got camera troubles, and I don't think he's going to be able to get down to the cameras now. Surely there's a guard coming. Yeah, it looks like I can see on his mini map there's a white dot heading towards the uh, the outside, so this will probably. Yep, there we go. There we go. Unfortunately. Because Derek um, takes it 4 2, and Derek moves on to losers bracket round three. This is a losers bracket, so unfortunately, Lewis is out of the tournament. Um, unfortunately. Some crazy improv from Derek throughout the whole thing. He's, he's so just another level, isn't he? In. I'm so glad I managed to get in and join to see a map at least. That was uh, cracking. <laughs> he's, he's, he's mad. He is absolutely mad. I love it. <laughs> Excited to see him in the next round now. Um, yeah. So that was that, a great match. A bit of back and forth on all the maps. Um, Hokkaido was a pretty straightforward, but it was a close one. Yeah, Miami was just, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe Miami. <laughs> a 24 minute spin to win it. So, um, and yeah, Paris, what seemed like a straightforward spin, it took a little while longer than we would have probably imagined, but there it gets the job done, so... Yeah, so let's go and have a look at the brackets. Hopefully they've been updated. Uh, let's have a look. Interact. This was a console. And so we can see, yep, unfortunately that does mean that Lewis is now out. And Derek will go on to play Fopper in round three. That will be a first six match. And the winner of that will go on to play TK47, who has been seriously impressive in this tournament so far. So that whoever gets there is, is in for a, uh, a tough match against TK47. So he, has, he has been very good so far. Mm -hmm. I do agree. Um, I think, in fact, I think every, every rookie that I've seen play in this tournament so far has been very impressive. <laughs> Um, we've got a lot of really great new players, especially in the console bracket this year. Um, yeah, it's, it's been really good to see. So let's have a look at the upcoming matches. So we have In For Fun versus Pinure. I hope that's right. Miami and Sapienza. That's coming up in about two hours. No, yeah, two hours. Yeah, about two hours. Um, then we have It's the Elite versus Commander Ike, Dubai and Sapienza. That will be... Oh, I can't do this maths. That's 3 a.m. 2 a.m. my time. Whatever that works out to be. <laughs> uh, Mikolas and Yanini. So we're getting into Monday now. So Mikolas versus Yanini, Whittleton Creek and Sapienza. Then I will be playing Booch58, who I've heard is, again, very good. Um... Didn't see his match, unfortunately. But there's Chong King and Sapienza. That's going to happen tomorrow evening. And then Milk versus Rocky Horse on Mendoza and Bangkok. Yeah, sorry, Infun's correct me there. It is 45 minutes until the next match. Not two hours. I can't count. Um, Awesome. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Um, Hope you all did too. Any last thoughts for 20? No, I, I enjoyed what I saw of it. I'm uh, ashamed I didn't get to see all three maps. Um, but yeah, fantastic job by both players. Well done to um, to Derek there. Unlucky Lewis. GG's for next time. Yeah, indeed. I would I would suggest going back and at least watching the end of uh, Derek's Miami. It was it was a sight. So um, yeah, definitely mm -hmm. go back for the vod on that one. Um, Appreciate the tip. 
thanks in the chat. I, I've noticed a few uh, follows, subscriptions, etc. Thanks for all those. Sorry, not 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 ignoring you, but didn't want to say it whilst the match was on. So thank you for for all of that. Thank you for everyone for joining me. Do we have somebody to raid? Is there enough? There's not another match going on right now, is there? So do we have someone to raid? Baloo, Baloo is online. So I'm going to send you all over to Blue. Be nice to him. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining me. Thanks for joining me, 420, for the final bit. Yeah, thanks for having Much me. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we will see you again soon, hopefully. <laughs>